this way, and it's the opening round of the Extreme Festival with two categories joining the Inland Championship and Historic Tour here at this incredible circuit. Four kilometers of tarmac to play on, and some tricky conditions for the Motormark Volkswagen Challenge. in the familiar Munro colors is definitely gonna be a man to watch out for. So will Carl Robinson. Has the power to override their whole system. Hey, bring that Hi, Chris. Yeah, something is happening, guys. You <laughs> should get out of my... Christelle's an entrepreneur who started business some in 1996, um, manufacturing spiral systems for the South African market. That developed into other companies, 
and the belt inside of the what the spiral runs on. We developed blue belt and made our own plastic modular belt, which was so successful we sell it to um, everybody in South Africa and beyond. We also have a company called Dev Technical Systems that go out service and do warranty work on the equipment Dev manufactures. Posi Drive is a particular spiral belt that Blue Belt makes. Um, a spiral is an endless conveyance system that can take up to and beyond a kilometre of belting and PosiDrive is a new system that um, revolutionises the spiral industry. There's only two companies in the world that make it, one being Intralox, our competitor, who just developed it and patented it, but we got around the patent and we are making it ourselves. Favourite racetrack? I like Swarcrops, I think it's a, a good vibe there, but I would have to say Cape Town. Arch rival. Well, it depends in which class, but in the class I'm in A class at the moment, I would say it's Mike Barbaglia and Mohamed Dango. <laughs> the people. I love the people in VW Challenge. I think that um, the majority of them are, are some, some good chaps and women and um, not just racing, but the old club as an old has such a good vibe. And I enjoy that. I look forward to each race meeting. Of course, I like driving. I'd love to be a bit quicker, but um, I'm sure that'll come this season. Rory Atkinson. <laughs> but I don't think there's much chance of that. And I think Bevan's next in line and um, and Ramsey, of course, there's some good drivers in Class A. I've been up to Class A and I've found it quite difficult last year. I've had to shave a bit of weight off the car because I can't manage it myself. But um, yeah, they're the people. It's terrific. It's, um, it's, it's a big up from a Class B car. It feels like a proper racing car. Um, it's not over so much faster than the B-Class, but it feels like it is, and it's a good experience, it's, it's a great car. Mm. I don't think I'm going to come first, second or third, but um, in, in Class A I'd like to be mid-pack, I'd certainly like to be the top end of mid-pack, but is it achievable? I'm sure it is, but um, I'll certainly be trying. <laughs> well, I'm 60 now and I've been racing for five years. I wish I'd have started 10 years ago and even 15, but um, I certainly like to be racing for another couple of years. I think it's how fit I am. Um, but I'm getting to the top end of, um, of it. I keep saying that every year, but I enjoy it so much it, it draws me back. And um, I'll race as long as I, I can keep walking, I think.